My name is Rabbi Avi Baumo. I have been the rabbi in Krakow, Poland for the last 11 years. As we prepare for Tisha B'Av, our national greatest day of mourning, the destruction of the first and second temple, we Jews recite a passage from the Bible, from the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah the prophet sits during the time of the great destruction and he turns to God crying and he pens this e elegy and um, calls it uh, the book of Eicha, which is the first word of these uh, chapters. And Eicha means, how could it be? The five chapters of Eicha uh, describe the mourning, the loss, the pain that not only the Jews in Israel felt at the time of the destruction, but even the city itself. It starts by saying, Echa Yashva Badad, how does she, the city of Jerusalem, sit alone? She sits without her people, without her citizens. She sits without her walls. She sits as enemies have, have slung their arrows at it and destroyed the buildings and the, certainly the majestic temple and the first chapter discusses <clears throat> the shock and great despair that not only the individual Jews have but even Jerusalem itself as if Jerusalem is a mourner sitting together with the Jews uh, during this time the, the chapter is 22 verses it represents, and each verse starts with the one letter from the Hebrew alphabet. And it represents that every letter, every experience, every possibility is a mourning, grief, a shock, um, calling out to God and acknowledging that we are sitting in utter pain. And in all ways, we turn to God. He speaks as if Jerusalem exists and he speaks as if she acknowledges that enemies have attacked her, that she has lost her splendor, that she remembers her days of old and her, even her rebelliousness. And she turns to um, herself really and acknowledges that she, Jerusalem, has indeed sinned a great sin against God, and for this, you know, this punishment is coming upon her. I think that there's a sense that if you remove a little bit from the individuals and, and, and talk about the city herself, you're, there's, a, there's a bit of distance and you're able to feel the pain on a much higher level. The, the chapter continues and speaks about the sad um, experiences that they have, Al-Ela and Ibrochia, for this reason I cry, that they're, they're, the children have gone into exile. But ultimately it says, Sadiku Hashem ki pihu mariti, acknowledging that God is truly the righteous one, for we have sinned against God, and therefore we are deserving of punishment. The chapter continues and says that hopefully the enemies their wickedness will come before God and God will ultimately um, punish them and we'll, we'll, we will be able to feel that pain a little less during that experience. I'm now going to recite the chapter in Hebrew. Uh, it's sung in a very sad song. Echa yashva vadad ha'ir Aita Kalmana Rabati Bagoye Sarati Bandinot Aita Lamas Bahotifke Balaila Vidimata Lechia In Lamanache Mikolo Ave Korea Bagduba Ayula Leoivi Galta Yuda Meoni Mirovapuda Hi Ashvavagoim Lomatsa Manoach 
Re'adonai v'abita ki ayiti zolelah.